guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jen Scene, aka Jungle Naps so I wanted to do another dope or nope review I've got this product here this is the black radiance true complexion match me foundation so uh, maybe I like ran across this about a few months ago at the drugstore and I haven't tried this but I had um, some requests from some of you guys that are a little bit newer to makeup as far as how to find, you know, foundations that match you. And then I remember that I had this just sitting in my little collection and I was like, hmm, this could be really, really good. The idea of a foundation actually matching your complexion is pretty intriguing and it could possibly be a really good tool for those of you that have trouble finding that perfect shade because you know some of us have different complexions and different parts of our body like for example my neck is naturally darker than my face and my chest so that's always a problem and not all brands to be honest actually carry a really wide range of colors so <laughs> I decided that this review could either go really really awesome or go really south very quickly but um yeah we're just gonna try this out i haven't looked at any reviews so i have no idea if this is good or bad i am going to prime my face i'm going to use this temp2 um primer it's their base smooth and matte primer and then i figured well let's just make this really interesting i'm going to use half of my face and i'm going to blend it out with this little guy right here this is the round top blender from Luxie it's standard foundation brush you know for buffing and then I'm going to use the other half of my face with this beauty blender and we'll see which performs better now if this looks decent I'm gonna wear it for eight hours if I look like a hot mess obviously we know what the verdicts gonna be um, but yeah let me get to priming my face the one thing I love about this primer is that it's moisturizing however it goes on matte if that makes sense matte and moisturizing so you don't look super cakey um, but you're also not gonna look shiny throughout the day okay so now that we're all done with priming let me take this out of the little box here. So it comes in this all black little bottle here. And let's see what it says. Um, it's supposed to adjust to your own unique skin tone. And um, it says first shake well before use. You can either use your finger, sponge, or a foundation brush to blend the formula. So let's shake it up. Now when I open it up, okay, it looks white. It's white, you guys. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, so let's just do half of the face first and then I'll blend it out using the brush. The only thing I really don't like is this applicator. I'm just gonna put it on my fingers. And another thing I that I really don't like is it just it has a very weird smell. It doesn't smell good at all. All right, so let's blend this out. Okay, so honestly, this side compared to this side, I honestly can't really even tell if I have foundation on. Um, and I mean, obviously it matches. However, it's extremely, extremely, extremely light coverage. That's what I'm noticing here. If I did have any blemishes, this would not, um, you know do anything at all <laughs> it wouldn't cover anything in fact you know here where I've got a blemish here it doesn't cover it at all so if you do want to use this I would suggest if you're looking for full coverage to build it up some more I want to actually see if I can apply another layer and see how well that works maybe I just didn't apply enough I'm not even sure but let's try it out this time I'm just gonna use the applicator because I am lazy and again, this smells really gross. Almost like glue, which cannot be good for my sensitive skin. Okay, so look at my face, guys. I'm not feeling it. I would definitely not suggest building it up. I think that really turned out bad. But for the sake of actually comparing with a beauty blender, 
I'm gonna keep going for the other half of my face, but you can see the difference. I look like I have kind of a gray undertone. I look a bit more pasty on this side compared to this side. Let's finish up the face, see what this looks like. Okay, obviously blending it out with the Beauty Blender is a big no-no. It's not blending it at all, and it's even though the Beauty Blender is wet, I'm just getting splotchy blotches of white. So I'm gonna switch from the Beauty Blender to this brush. Okay. <laughs> I blended this in as best as I could, but obviously you guys, this is a huge fail. First of all, I look like a ghost. Um, and although I can tell that the foundation tried to match my skin tone, it just doesn't look right. My cheek area looks a lot different from my forehead area because my forehead area is like super white and it's splotchy, like the color isn't even, even though I tried to blend it out. Obviously there's color because look at my brush. I mean, it's actually there. However, this just does not blend out well. It doesn't even have great coverage. You know, I did have like a little bit of a irritation um, that's like was a little bit red and it doesn't really cover that up well. You can see it very well in person. I'm just gonna be real. I would not waste my coins on this Match Me foundation. I think the concept is really cool. Who knows, I'm just saying it might work for you. If it does work for you, don't get offended. I just obviously from this live demo, it is not for my type of situation. So if you guys have tried this, let me know down in the comments. I'm just a little, I'm a little irritated by this thing because now, you know, I can't even wear this all day. I have to take it off immediately. <clears throat> immediately. <laughs> it cannot stay on my face because I just, I don't look very good. So, yeah, I want to know if you guys use this. What are some of your tips and tricks for using this product? And um, if you have tried it in the past, let me know what your experiences are down below. If you know of a really good self-matching foundation, also let me know down below. And, uh... I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it'll be a little better than this thing on my face. All right, bye guys.